Hey friends, welcome to the start of the After Effects tutorial playlist. Today we'll be learning about what After Effects is and how to get started. First off, After Effects is not a video editor such as Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. Instead, it's a program that allows you to animate graphics that were created within the program or imported from Illustrator, Photoshop, or the internet. The most basic building block of After Effects is keyframes, which we will learn in depth in a later video. After Effects is mostly used for animation and motion graphics or VFX and compositing, but we will be focusing on the animation side of it for these videos. After Effects is also a render heavy program meaning that your computer will have to be a pretty powerful computer in order to have more processing power and more RAM to get the full potential of After Effects. Now you can still do After Effects on a less powerful computer. It might just run slower and might not allow you to do certain things that take more processing power. But for the most part, if you're just gonna be doing basic animation of motion graphics, you should be pretty good on most computers. But other than that, Let's go ahead and just jump into After Effects. So this is how After Effects looks right when you open it up. It'll show you your previous projects that you're working on, if you have worked on previous projects, or you'll have this most important button over here, New Project. We're gonna go ahead and click on that, bring you into this workspace. Let's go ahead and click on New Composition. And this is where we will create our composition settings to be able to create our animation in. Some important things to notice here, we want to name this so that we don't get lost, so it doesn't get lost, we know where it is. Um, you have some presets here that you can set up for the size of your composition. So for instance, like we have some of these basic like 1080p's, that's just like HD, or you can go up to 4K, Ultra HD, um, and many other presets that you can change, or you can even change it um, to a custom setting if you come in here and type whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it at 1080. Don't worry about the square pixels. The frame rate, this is pretty important. If you already know what frame rate is, then you know how this works, but um, some basic frame rates that you would want to be in is either 24 frames, 30 frames, 60 frames, 120 frames a second. Just know that the higher frame rate you have, um, the slower and the more smoother your animation will be, but also um, the more render heavy your animation will be. So, um, moving on here, keep the resolution at full, don't worry about the time code, um, and then duration is important, that is how long you want your video to be. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at 30 seconds, and then if you want to, you can change the background of your composition. I usually either do white or black. I'm gonna keep it at black, press OK. Boom, now we are here, ready to do some animation in After Effects. But let's say you've been working for a little bit and you don't like the settings that you created initially at the beginning. You can come up here to the top, press Composition, and come down to Composition Settings, and that'll bring you right back into that menu that we had right at the beginning, and you can change anything that you need to. So yeah. Um, that's it for this video, but join us next time in learning the workspace and how to import footage.